Hey there, my name is Promise, and welcome back to more Capital, Spark of the Revolution. This video is sponsored by 1C Entertainment. Of course, thank you to them for that. You can find links in the description down below. In the last video, we did manage to set up some semblance of a town. I'm a little bit worried that we might be, like, overly expanding. Maybe I should accept people being sad for a little bit longer or something. Maybe I'm trying too much to meet all of their individual needs, but... We're starting to run into at least a handful of issues, and I am a little bit on the concern side. I mean, at some point, as our population continues to grow, we're not really importing enough grain to keep ourselves alive. At some point, we're going to need to go to this railroad, and we're going to need to upgrade this thing in order to start bringing in some more cargo. Though, of course, that does come with the downside of having some extra lumber being consumed every time. So that is a serious concern for me. We also might want to consider getting some additional places to sell some of our excess alcohol, but again, like, is there a point in having lots and lots of alehouses if I can only produce so much, right? So, we're gonna have to think about how we carefully continue to expand. As far as our actual missions right now, what the game does want me to do is build up a police department under the security station right over here. And this would definitely be worth getting, uh, cost a little bit of money and stuff, and... Yeah, it's jobs I may not want to pay for right now, but it is important to have some of this so we'll be able to detect and investigate some crimes. We'll occasionally get little random events that will fire off, and this is going to be one way for us to get around that. So, uh, maybe get the best possible outcome by conducting some sort of an investigation. Anyways, Yahoo, uh, another thing we want to talk about with the railroads is you may have noticed there's something here called deterioration. It is necessary to occasionally spend some extra money and wood in order to bring it back up to full snuff. It does get more expensive the more deteriorated it is, and you can't click the button until it gets up to 50. So that's something we'll have to come back to soon-ish. We got a little bit of time on that front. Another thing we should probably talk about is corruption. I haven't talked about that yet. You can see this right here. Corruption is a thing. It reduces the efficiency of any institution and administrative building you've got, unfortunately. Uh, it is going to basically need to uh, have some anti-corruption operations run by our police on occasion in order to bring that corruption back down. But that, unfortunately, is like a couple texts down. And there's not much we can do over here at the moment. So I'm not sure that's going to be my top priority, at least not yet, but... Well, eventually it'll have to be, for sure, won't it? Now, something I haven't done is gone to our research. We could start working on this small warehouse and get this research, which would allow us to stockpile even more materials. Which is probably a good idea. The only reason I'm hesitant is spending any lumber and any gold right now is a bit of a risky thing to do. But having that extra warehouse so that we'll be able to stockpile extra resources is not the worst thing I've ever heard of. So, I mean... Maybe we want to do that. We've got a fair bit of wood right now. Let's go ahead and start researching this. This does take some of the nobility working in the academy in order to do any research. But if you're not actively researching anything, then I don't think you technically spend any uh, salary on them. So I don't have to worry about micromanaging this and turning it off every time that I'm not happy with what they're working on. I don't know that I can afford to continue spending resources on... Uh, homes for a little bit. So we're gonna have to accept that some people are probably going to be sad going forward for at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and take down this ruined house so you can get a little bit more lumber, maybe some extra food or something, I don't know. It's gonna be a little while before we have access to that warehouse. We got mostly just a bit of extra gold plus some lumber. Okay, well that's not so bad. That's kind of okay. I'm alright with that. We're gonna go to this railroad and we're gonna go ahead and conduct an upgrade. This will take a little bit of time for it to work. But that's fine. The goal for this is to go ahead and start importing more grain, right? An extra 87 is going to be coming in per trip on this. Does cost me a little lumber. But again, as the population continues to grow up, if we don't have enough grain to go around, we don't have enough food and alcohol, people start starving and getting unhappy, and we're not making as much money uh, during the night. So we very desperately are going to need to have some of that. Not enough storage space for grain. Okay, mm well, admittedly, that is an issue, but we're also about to get to our... Uh, work time, so I don't think we're getting any more grain within the next hour. We'll end up being okay. Handful more workers have joined us. Okay, well, I mean, that's probably great and all. Um, if I had more lumber, I might consider that. Do we have any more piles I can take down? We have one more I can demolish. Once you literally run out of things to take down for more resources, like grain... Uh, the game gets a lot harder all of a sudden, at least in my experience. Now, we could go for a market trade over here, which wouldn't be too bad. The marketplace will earn resources every day at the end of a work shift. I don't know what resources I get, 
but more resources can't be a bad thing. The game wants me to move on to Secret Service, but I think I need to build up my economy a little bit more, or else we're not going to be able to survive. So we're going to go for Market Trade, and that opens up this, the Marketplace, which of course will take some lumber in order to make that work, but hopefully it ends up being okay. Yes, yes, I know. What they're trying to tell me here is that you can set things like a bistro or a cabaret to either serve the nobles or the bourgeois, or both. If you're finding yourself in a situation where some particular class is not being fed very well, then that might be an option for you. But right now, I think I'm okay with what I've got. So we're consuming all of our grain. Excellent. We're going to start turning that into some very much needed food and alcohol. Uh, if we find ourselves running out of grain, let's remember that I have four stockpiles that I can pull on here, which will get me at least a little bit more. So we got 400 more grain here. That's all that I've got, though. Take a look at the railroad. We can see that it is coming on its way. We could go for a repair job, and I will do that now. Cost me 450 gold and 150 lumber. A little unfortunate, but oh well. And let's go ahead and place down that marketplace, which we have been talking about. And I'll set it up over... Eh, I can't fit it right there. Darn it. How about right over here, then? Rotate it around close to the hospital. Eh, maybe. I'm trying to think if there's a better spot for it, though. Maybe right over here would be okay. Yeah, this seems all right. It's kind of the exact same sh shape as the Academy, so that works for me. We'll go ahead and build out some roads, and boom. All right, so we're going to build up a marketplace. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't exp experimented with this yet, so I have no idea if I've made the right choice or if I've doomed myself. Maybe. Hey, finally, jobs for my bourgeois. Well, that's excellent. Okay, so these guys are going to be getting to work over here. Of course, this is probably going to cost me something. Well, that's interesting. They're trading resources. Do I not pay a salary on these guys? Or am I losing bread? No, it just seems like I'm actually straight out making more resources. I don't know what I'm trading, but this seems pretty helpful. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe the marketplace is really good. We are running out of um, income, though. So something I'm going to do is probably turn off the alcohol and probably turn off... Let's turn off the police department. Let's temporarily turn off the academy. How are we doing on that research? Ah, we got another day to go or so, but if I'm run out of income, we're really going to be in a lot of trouble. So we'll turn some of that off, and then I'm going to go to our resources, and I'm going to increase the taxes on the bourgeois for at least a little bit, and just try to keep myself afloat for a little while here. Yeah, this isn't going to be great. We're definitely going to run out of money before the end of the work shift. Never mind. Never mind. We're now getting to a point where some people are going and getting some food, and that helps keep me afloat for a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, mind you. Not very long. And that's a pretty good amount of grain we just received from the trains. So that's going to help give me something to work on. If we need to, what we could do is spend some money to get an extra shift right over here. Now, I don't recall if this is permanent, like you always have extra shifts, or if it's just a temporary button you click in order to get people to work over the night if you find yourself really short on some key resource. I'm not sure. We'll go ahead and try turning back on the alcohol plant. Hopefully that ends up being the right decision. I just need to get enough money to keep myself going. Work shift should be ending very soon. We've got just enough money. We'll be okay. Let's go ahead and turn this back on so that people can continue to work on some research. And hopefully we make a lot of money over the night. Making a pretty good amount of alcohol and stuff here. But I don't think we're going to have enough by the end of the day. The good news is I think we do have enough food. So that's all right. Uh, I can go ahead and knock down, let's say, one more box pile for some food. But I don't want to get too much grain. Otherwise, the train might end up delivering too much grain and we find ourselves not having enough. At least until I get more warehouses, we might not have enough. I would like to build out another cottage right over here because I know we have some homelessness, mainly for the nobles and the bourgeois. So we can go ahead and get that set up. Have a couple of people who are dead. At some point, we're going to need to get some funeral rites going, but it's going to be a little while. So are you telling me I got an extra 139 bread? Because that's pretty outstanding, if so. Ah, but unfortunately, we also have our first round of protests. What do you want? 19 protests. Okay. Um, we need to serve 25 bourgeois in the cabaret within the next 32 hours. And if we do that, we will give them these resources. I can resolve that problem. We spend some money. We spend some alcohol. And now we have 32 hours to tend to these people. So this is where I'm actually going to turn off nobility visitors here. Well, actually, we'll turn this one on. Over here, I want to turn that off and try to make sure that we are favoring primarily the bourgeois. That's going to upset the nobles for a bit, but hopefully it does mean that we can meet our mission and not have some riots. All right, so it looks like we have organized crime on the rise, which is a bit of a problem. People are going to tell me that we need to be building up some police stations for some patrols and stuff. They're going to tell me we need to be getting some secret service, all sorts of fun stuff going on there. Yay, that's going to be great. Now, if I had a police station, 
which does come from the patrol's law over here, we would have been able to send the police to simply break up the crowds. And that's certainly one solution, though I imagine it's going to cause a lot of happiness issues as well. Let's go ahead and pull back a little bit on the taxes since we've lost way too much happiness with the bourgeois. That's probably why we even had some sort of a protest, because people are demanding that we serve them right now. Yeah, trying to serve these guys. We managed to serve seven so far, but it's obviously not quite enough. Uh, I need more people to go over here. Please, please get served, bourgeois. There we go. Serving at least a few. Okay. Getting somewhere, getting somewhere. More grain has been delivered. Okay. Well, that's good. So, um, we actually should have enough grain to do some pretty good work tonight. Or tomorrow, I should say, and continue producing some of that much-needed bread. Could turn on the second shift, but I think I'd rather not do that right now. Let's just make a tiny little bit of money from serving more people at the tap house. Let's pass another law. What would I like? Get that secret service going, or maybe we could go ahead and get the patrols going so we can suppress crime. Lowering crime, huh? And that would eventually lead to things like the anti-corruption operations, which isn't a bad idea in order to get more efficient institutions. Alternatives. Innovations. Um, it opens a new tab of innovations. Ritual service for the graves. Secret service we're supposed to do for our primary story. Retail businesses. Unlock stall and boutique buildings. If they are satisfied with satisfied needs, are going to visit the shops. Serving them increases their happiness and increases gold. Is this a good idea? What kind of goods would we technically be selling? I don't think any goods that I'm worried about. I think this would literally just unleash the free market to do its own thing. Plus, I don't know if there's a tab somewhere to see how many people I currently have that are able to work. Oh, we can see. Okay. Okay, hang on. Employment. So it looks like we have 19 people who are currently employed. What other job do we have that is employing our bourgeois? Because I want to see what these guys are up to. I want to know how many for sure we actually have to work with. Uh, I don't really see where the extra bourgeois come into play. No idea. Okay. So I'm looking at this 1922. It says we only have three unemployed bourgeois. We only have one unemployed nobles. We have a fair number of unemployed workers. So technically, if anything, we want to find some extra work for them. But all we would need is like one extra second shift, and that problem is solved. Um, depending on how many jobs this requires, this could be an option for me. And getting a lot of uh, money would mean that I'd be able to start expanding more industries. But at the same time, if we don't start suppressing crime, then this is only going to do so much. So maybe it is time to go ahead and pick up the patrols. Maybe next time we worry about getting some retail businesses. Let's get some basic security up and a running. What is this? Looks like to me like we might be about to have some sort of an investigation. Let's go ahead and move some employees over to the police department. First, make sure this is available before I click on this in case we need to find out we have to do something. And we have a crime of the nobility. Sir Corwell had only just married when his bride disappeared. His familiar jewelry disappeared along with her. Okay, so there's a witness who says the bride is quite the pretty lass, polite and well-mannered. And then Sir Corwell is like, how could I be an idiot? Uh, investigate as a regular priority or a top priority? I don't know what this would mean. I suspect top priority is going to make other... Um, uh, social classes discontent because we are focusing on the nobility instead of anyone else. I'll investigate this at a regular priority. I don't know how to tell uh, how much progress we have made on said investigation, so we will find out at a later date, I suppose. Now people are saying, hey, we need to be getting, like, some prisons and stuff. And, like, the, no uh, the workers are like, well, if you didn't, you know, throw them in prison, or rather, if we had better economic conditions, they wouldn't commit crimes. It's all like, what are you talking about? Shush. That's not how it works. All right, so we have our warehouse. Um, can we please construct one of those under production, I believe? Yes. All right, so we definitely want to have one of these up and running ASAP because obviously we are going to need to be able to store some extra grain so we don't ever find ourselves in a situation where we have too much grain again. I don't ever want to throw some out of the train. That's just wasteful, and I don't accept being wasteful. Thank you. We have enough money that I could turn on the second sawmill, and I think I will do that. Notice it does take a little time to spin back up, by the way, so you can't just turn these on and off all the time without wasting at least a few hours. We have a lot of missions all of a sudden now, don't we? I also don't have a lot more time to serve the bourgeois, so I'm going to turn off all nobles here and pray that we are going to be uh, providing lots of entertainment only for the bourgeois and see if we can fulfill this mission. I hope that we do. What are we trading for here? It looks like we might be trading for some grain at the end of the day. 
There's the train again. That's another 254 instead of 64, so the deterioration's starting to hit us. I want to see, are we about to get a whole bunch of extra grain at the end of the workday? Because it certainly would imply that, and if so, that's great. An extra 300 grain. Boom! There it is. Oh, dude, the marketplace is great. My gosh. Okay, we, we like that. Uh, did we manage to resolve this, or did we just fail the mission? I can't tell, but it's gone. So I'm going to go ahead and turn back on the nobles. I got an achievement that makes me think that maybe I did successfully finish the mission. At least I certainly hope I did. A police station would be a good thing to get. And we do have some extra... Oh, it's very small. We do have some extra um, lumber to spare at the moment. Uh, I could fit it technically right here behind the hospital. There's just like barely enough space, but we totally can. Perfect. Um, let's go ahead and do exactly that. Set up a little police station. Get that going. So if we have more protests from unhappy bourgeois, we'll be able to deal with it. I think you only get protests if the happiness falls below a certain level, or maybe it's just more likely to happen. But I want to be ready for it. So what law do we want to go for? I really want to go for the retail business, but how many extra employees could we get? You know, it looks like we could get a handful of extra jobs. This would get me a lot of money, but this would let me get a lot of security. And anti-corruption is so important. Ah, there's so many things we need. I also need to be getting rid of the bodies. Uh, retail businesses, dang it, let's do it. I believe in the power of capitalism. I believe in it. All right, a boutique and a stall. So these do cost me some money. Um, you see we would spend 144 gold per shift, but we could get 48 per visitor, and it increases happiness. And if people's needs are met, namely in the form of having had food and not being sad and having houses, then this might increase greatly the number of people who are actually going out here and buying stuff, which could be great. I mostly will start probably with the workers, and then we'll move on to boutiques and stuff a little bit later. So I do want to get some more lumber, but unless I... Oh, wait, no, we got one more ruined house we can pull apart over here. That could be good. So we'll go ahead and do that, try to get myself a little bit more. If I could set up something over here by the uh, workers uh, district, nicely segregated from the bourgeois, by the way, then maybe we can do something there. So the police station is built. Fantastic. Five people would be working over here. It suppresses crime. Uh, we've got enough housing. Everything's fine. Really do need to deal with these darn corpses, though. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit weird. It's going to be a little bit weird in that we're going to need to get ourselves a lot of different uh, laws. This kind of reminds me, again, of some games like Frostpunk, for example, where managing social classes is so important, and you only can get so many laws, so you really have to pick and choose, and this is where the strategy element of the game is going to start coming in. Food delivery. Deliver food to a customer, get 675 grain. Oh, my God. 300 food, but 675. Question. Um, so here's the thing. It's a one-for-one one ratio plus money. One gold and one grain become one food. This would definitely be good in the sense that it gets me more food in the long term, but hurts me in the short term. I think I could probably maybe... No, I can't accept this. I want to, but I don't think I can. Because as much as I need grain, and I know this translates into more food, I don't really have enough food production to meet this need and also take care... Well, I take that back. Maybe we could. What if we did a second shift? <gasps> Ooh, that's it. Okay, yes, we're going to accept. Uh, we now need to collect 300 food, and then it'll automatically get distributed over to the um, train station. What we're going to do is spend some money over here at the food factory, turn on a second shift, let these workers get back to work over here, and start generating some of that food overnight. That's going to be what we do. Did someone just steal some food? You did! You stole some grain! Bandits! Dang it! Well, this is why we're supposed to be having a police station, but apparently they did a very bad job of suppressing the crime. I'm a little disappointed in you. Dead bodies. Yeah, I'm aware that I need graveyards. I wish you guys would just, like, toss them in the lake or something. I'm sure that wouldn't poison the water, but no. Need to get ourselves a funeral house and a graveyard. Very expensive. Very expensive. Uh, let's go ahead and send the... Well, let's see. How much capacity do we have? We can store 1,000. The railroad's still a little ways away. We can send this now, and I think we'll be able to burn through this grain before the train arrives and start working on some of that extra food. And it's not costing me too much in the way of gold, at least not yet. So we're okay. That is a huge amount of grain. Massive. I'm going to let the train arrive, and then we're going to turn this off 
And hopefully um, we can save ourselves a single train route or something like that. Though I think the train just arrived and we did end up wasting some food after all. Turns out the train is faster than I thought. A fire? No! It's right here! I don't know if there's anything we can do about that if I'm completely honest though. Which is pretty terrible for obvious reasons. We would like to be able to put out that fire. But I don't know how to put out that fire. So it's just going to have to burn then. A fight club? Hmm, let's see. A young bourgeois wants to organize a sponsored boxing match. Permit the fights, which would make the bourgeois loyalty rise and workers' loyalty fall, or prohibit. You know, I can afford to upset the workers a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Get 10 loyalty swapped around over there. Okay, seems good. And with the extra bourgeois loyalty, then, what I'll do is raise up their taxes. You want Fight Club? That's fine. But if you're going to have Fight Club, then I get a little bit of a kickback. You know what I mean? We at least are getting enough uh, wood that I could start building things like some stalls. And I do think that that's something I want to try doing. So, where could I place one that would make some sense? You know, I guess we'll just go ahead and place it right here. Why not? I want to see what this is going to do. I want to see how much this really improves things like my happiness and my money generation. Another event. There's the festive occasion. The bourgeois gain happiness every hour. Well, that's great because I only lose two every hour from extra taxes. So this is good. This is really good. We'll be able to make them happier. Also, this time they are generating me a little bit of extra food. I like it. I actually am starting to think that the bourgeois are amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of surprised that the uh, tutorial hasn't been asking me to get that stuff a little bit sooner because it seems great. We do have a lot of sad people and also a lot of hungry people, which admittedly is an issue. Um, what we can do is go ahead and place down another bistro, let's say right over here. Try to service the um, bourgeois and so on. Get this road set up like so. So we'll have that going over here. I do need to continue feeding some of my workers. We aren't making a ton of alcohol, unfortunately, so getting an extra ale house doesn't sound all that appealing to me. Yeah, pretty soon we're going to need to open up some additional industry, but that's going to require a lot of grain. Remember that something we can do, let's go ahead and turn this on, by the way, is upgrade this again with a lot of extra wood. If we have lots of food, uh, wood generation, then that's going to be a good option. We have arrested criminals, but there are no prisons, which means we can't do much of anything with it right now, which is a little unfortunate, but I need more laws. I've also got six bodies in the street. It's only causing 1% um, disease chance, but I'll bet you it's making people sad too, which is an issue. So people are getting served here in the stalls. It only takes three uh, bourgeois employees. So we actually could afford to set up several of these if we wanted to. Oh, that's actually highly tempting. Um... Okay, but we don't have a huge queue, so extras won't do me a ton of good right now. Um, getting capped out here on some wood. Tell you what, what we're going to go ahead and do then is set up a boutique. And if we can get you set up over, let's say, over here, could we do that? And then we can fit a boutique. Perfect. All right, we can get a little bit more space efficiency. But with this extra boutique, I'm hoping that even though it costs me a lot of money, it results in me getting a lot more money. And there they go, getting served. Fantastic. So that's more of our bourgeois who are getting um, some jobs. Plus, we've already turned a profit. And this just increases happiness and stuff as well. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't cost anything but money. Dude, trade is actually going to be really powerful. This might be the only way that I keep my gold up and running. Oh, we're out of grain? That's an issue. Let's go ahead and demolish this real quick. Yeah, we've used up all that grain pretty darn quick. All right, but anyway, so this is really, really helpful. This is really helpful. Now we have a consistent way of getting a lot more gold, which means now I probably could start uh, getting some extra upgrades for the railroad and maybe start producing extra food and alcohol if we wanted to. And by the way, it does look like a second shift is only a temporary ability. So we would probably want to be building out a new facility rather than keep clicking this button every single time. Maybe. Could be wrong on that. Let's also go ahead and build ourselves another little house over here. Make sure we keep our people happy. Though, frankly, the happiness is looking really good right now because we're actually doing a great job of taking care of our people. This is great. What else do we want to do? Uh, you know what? Oh, anti-corruption would be really good, but it, it, we need to get things like the penal system. Otherwise, what's the point of having something like a... Um, what's the point of having our police... So the prison's going to cost me more lumber than I currently have available, unfortunately. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and spend some money on a second shift and start generating a little bit of extra lumber so we can keep ourselves growing throughout the night. All right, I feel like we've made some good progress. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to take a look at that link in the description down below. And I will see you guys next time.